Well, hello guys. So I'm filming another video with my Canon Hi8 camcorder ES75 because, well, uh, why not? I'm not going to film all my videos with uh, my tape camcorders now, but uh, sometimes it's pre pretty cool to do. And uh, so yesterday I went to Velo Village and uh, I found this VCR, a Toshiba VCR. And uh, well, I already had a Toshiba VCR with this mechanism, but uh, this one has a special function. And uh, I've seen this Toshiba a few times, but and uh, every time I saw them, I was hoping that it will have that special function. But uh, and uh, now today, finally, I found this Toshiba uh, with uh, the, that special function. I checked and it had it, the TV still function. And uh, so uh, I'll show that later what it does. And uh, so um, I tested this VCR there and uh, well, it, it did exactly like I expected uh, to happen. I put in the tape and uh, the tape uh, went in. But I pressed play and uh, I heard the loading motor running, but uh, it did not load the tape. And uh, so it most likely just has a bad belt. And uh, since it's defective, I I told it to an employee so I can uh, so I could have it for a lower price, because that's what uh, that's what they do uh, when you uh, then that's what I do when I wh when I test a VCR and uh, f find a broken VCR, I tell it to an employee so and uh, they put a new price on it. And uh, so I got it for that price. And uh, so that that uh, that special function I can show you what it does right now. So uh, TV still, I will press the button, and uh, here you can see that my camera that I'm currently using to film is plugged to the TV. And uh, well, right now I will uh, press the the button, the TV still button, and you see, do you see this? This is pretty cool. The, t the TV is frozen. See, it took a screenshot of what was uh, uh, being inputted through the the VCR. Isn't that awesome? So, for example. I press it now, and see on the TV it's frozen. I can even uh, unplug the ca the the Canon camera. See it's unplugged, and uh, the pi the the screenshot, the picture will s it will uh, stay displayed as long as you don't press again on the TV still button. So you can uh, display a still picture on the on this VCR for as long as you want. And the picture can come from a tape or it can come from the AV input. Now it's coming directly from the AV input. I did not even put a tape in the VCR. And so that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty cool function. And uh, I already knew that this function uh, existed. I have already seen videos on YouTube uh, of uh, this function. And uh, the YouTuber Databits uh, did a video about a, a Toshiba VCR of that uh, that kind. Only uh, in his video it was the, like the, the the better version. It was a hi-fi version. Uh, this one is a two-head mono. I think it's a two-head. No, I'm not certain, but it's a mono VCR. It has that feature, and also a, a YouTuber, a, a Quebec YouTuber, a Nintendo Lou Wolf. That's his name. He has uh, done a video of a Toshiba VCR uh, uh, that has this function too. So you can see, I did not press the TV still button, and the the, the screenshot it is uh, still displayed. And uh, so that's pretty cool. Now I've unplugged the video input uh, from this VCR with my camcorder plugged in it. And uh, still displayed. And I will just uh, show you the back side of the VCR. So I will turn it on on the back like this. I just put my camera on it while I was doing it, as you saw. And so uh, the model number is DX3C. And uh, this this is the back side. The YouTuber Nintendo Wolf has a. Uh, the model DX four hundred C, so it's very similar to to this one. And, uh, so this is a pretty pre pretty uh, good VCR for, for for that time. It's not a stereo VCR, but uh, it's not a, a very low. It was probably not the cheapest uh, of all. It was like average end uh, for that that time. It was probably around nineteen eighty seven eighty eight. And so you saw the the sticker and here the the AV uh, input and output. So the TV is plugged there right now, and uh, here you have an unswitched power outlet, which my CRT TV is currently plugged in. And uh, now I will show you the, the front of the VCR, and then I will uh, show you the inside, and I will uh, have some belts to change, at least the loading belt, and. Uh, this VCR only has one belt, it's the loading belt, uh, but it has a, ru a rubber tire that might be bad too. 
so I'll show you the, the front. So it's a pretty basic front. Here, we, here you have the the buttons to uh, program the, t the clock and the timer, like you always have on these uh, vintage VCRs from the 80s. You have picture sharpness tracking, manual tracking, the famous TV still button, which is uh, still activated right now. It won't, uh, it won't go away by itself. Uh, it will only go away if you press it again. Now I just did it. TV VCR and the the basic VCR functions. This one, this VCR has a slow motion and counter reset, counter memory. So it will uh, it will uh, go back to zero if you uh, it will uh, stop at zero if you fast forward or rewind, which is a pretty. Uh, Pretty nice feature and power and eject button, and here it says digital VHS. So I don't I don't know exactly uh, uh, what is it besides the TV still function. Like uh, it's, this is not to be confused with uh, DVHS, which is really a VHS that records digitally. This is not what this VCR is. This is a true analog VCR. So it's uh, it's from the, the late eighties. Uh, so super VHS. Uh, did not even exist when this was made. So uh, the digital VHS. So uh, if you saw the the word digital and the VCR in the 1980s, well, uh, the the VCR will uh, will sound good to you. Basically, uh, you will be interested in it. And uh, so uh, show you what happens when I put the tape in. Oh wait, wrong tape. Lol. It went in, and if I press play, you will see what it does. The belt isn't even there anymore. It it either turned into goo or it, or it melted. The loading motor is turning without a belt, and it decided to stop. So this VCR cannot do anything uh, in the mechanism besides uh, loading a tape and ejecting it. Like uh, just uh, inserting ejecting the cassette, not the tape on the head. So I will open it and uh, see the disaster in it. This is with the this is the unit with the top cover off, and uh, you you see there's a big circuit board here and it covers a bit of the the tape mechanism. There's also a metal shield here with, uh, which can go off, uh, which I can take off easily. And uh, the inside of this VCR looks uh, pretty neat. And uh, so here's the bad belt, it's just under this. It's not attached on the motor anymore. So uh, it might have melted. But I will have to remove this circuit board to access this belt, which is a pretty bad design. Uh, my other Toshiba uh, does not require you to uh, remove the circuit board and uh, I will uh, pull it out uh, just later in this video, it's here the other Toshiba with this mechanism but that does not have the TV still function I will compare these two VCRs so with this circuit board here I can't really uh, raise it up more than, than that because there is like wires everywhere uh, below it so I can't really move it I just uh, but I was able to detach it and uh, it unplugs from this and uh, well uh, this is something that I find uh, e that that I find that it's more easier to take apart in like a modern VCRs from the late 90s and the 2000s because they don't have wires everywhere so it's just uh, easier to um, disassemble all the parts usually when it's uh, sometimes uh, in the very late models like the Funai uh, the one that Funai made uh, in those sometimes instead of connectors like for example you have here or or here they just uh, solder it directly to the board just to uh, it's like they do, they do it just to prevent you from um, from servicing it and uh, so that's something that uh, nobody likes but uh, in some of the uh, uh, the, the ones that are not uh, from the, the early 2000s like for example this Panasonic or uh, like the, this Sanyo for example this one does not probably does not have uh, these kind of soldered cables so uh, they, they those are like the easiest to take apart uh, from the, that time period because they don't they don't have wires everywhere and uh, same for uh, the, this one and uh, this uh, this Itachi, this Sharp. 
and uh, you know what uh, what uh, VCR time period I'm par talking about. And uh, so uh, the the belt is here, and I will try just to uh, just to zoom on it. So it seems that uh, it, it broke and it probably turned into goo. I will uh, find out how to remove it uh, uh, pretty clean. But uh, that stupid circuit board is in the way. This really ain't great. Really not great this circuit board that is in the way. Well, with the way the circuit board is uh, plugged with all its wires, you can flip it like this and uh, it just plays upside down there. So don't plug the VTR when it's uh, like this because it's touching the metal chassis. But it gives access to the motor. You must uh, see pretty well now. It's turning into goo, it's totally turned back. Well, right now I have replaced uh, that loading belt and uh, it seems that uh, this was uh, all that was wrong with this VCR because now it is um, it seems to be fully functional. I've put in a tape and it, it plays correctly. So I will insert it. And uh, on this VCR you need to press play to load the tape on the head. And it plays perfectly fine, as you can see. And the TV still functions, uh, doesn't, uh, you cannot use it while playing a tape. But uh, when you press pause, uh, it does like the TV still uh, function does. It, uh, like, it takes a screenshot of what's uh, displayed on the screen and it displays it. It uh, like processes the video uh, digitally. Uh, so uh, Right now, you're not seeing what the heads are currently reading while the tape is stopped. Uh, you're reading, uh, you're seeing a sc screenshot uh, uh, that it take that it took uh, just uh, the instant before it stopped. So it does like the TV still function. And uh, my Sony EVS 2000 Hi8 VCR, this one, uh, it uh, does something very similar. It does uh, just like this when you uh, press pause. So this must be why they uh, they wrote digital here because it kind of uh, processes the video digitally. And uh, so this is kind of interesting, and even when you press uh, the uh, slow motion, like it, it uh, takes a screenshot uh, every frame. Uh. Yeah, ju just like my my EVS two thousand. And so I. Uh, of course, that makes it uh, have a perfect uh, clear uh, pose, and uh, so that is great. Now I will press stop. You will see it will unload the tape. Now I will mute the TV because uh, since this is an old VCR, it uh, does not produce a blue screen or mute the the, the sound, and uh, there is nothing plugged to the TV tuner now. So you, you could see the tape mechanism is fully functional and even the pinch roller and the uh, the idler tire are still good in this VCR. I did not replace them. And uh, yeah, the pinch roller is still good, Un unlike the, the other Toshiba which is stored here. I will get it out just later to compare it with this one. And uh, on, on that Toshiba, the, the, the pinch roller was uh, completely cracked. It was completely bad. Uh, and uh, so I had to replace it and I had to like modify one. Uh, one part of the of the the mechanism, like to make the uh, the pinch roller fit, because it's like a smaller diameter pinch roller. I'll show you again the tape mechanism in action.
So here you have a separate motor, and uh, this one does not uh, have a belt mechanism. So um, this is the same exact mechanism as the other Toshiba, which I'll get out later. So uh, I'm not going to show the to remove the bottom cover on this VCR because it it looks exactly the same as the other uh, the other Toshiba, which I have already reviewed on my channel. And uh, so now I, I'm going to get out the other Toshiba VCR and put it uh, uh, next to this one, so we can compare the the two. Because on the inside it doesn't look exactly the same like the circuit board. Uh, it's not the same shape and. Uh, it's it's uh, sl now here is my other Toshiba VCR next to uh, the, this one, and uh, they they are actually quite different. Uh, well, they they are similar, but they have uh, many uh, many uh, special differences, which uh, which is interesting. So we will, we will start with the front. So uh, one thing that's similar, they both have uh, this this uh, little door that opens, and uh, well, eject and power buttons are at the same place. And also the tape, the tape commands are pretty much at the same place. You see the the VCR functions. You also have uh, nodes like this uh, on, on this one too. So uh, that is uh, actually pretty similar. This one also has the counter memory uh, function, but it's called uh, zero return. So you have counter reset on this one too. And on this one, you have a real-time counter. Uh, like there is a major difference in the the functioning of these two uh, of these two VCRs because this one um, keeps the tape loaded on all the functions, unlike this one which only has it loaded on play. And so this one has a real-time counter because it's fast forward with the tape loaded on the heads. And uh, well, now uh, on the inside, you see that the circuit board is not the same shape. It's not exactly the same shape, and uh, here it covers a little less. Uh, it kind of uh, covers less the, the the tape mechanism. You see, you can uh, access the loading motor without having to uh, to remove the, that circuit board. And uh, this one, it uh, seems to be slightly uh, wider, but uh, this one is uh, deeper. And you can see there is a difference in the, the depth of the of the VCR. And, uh, so we will insert the tape in the this one, which is uh, the the one I bought last year at the flea market. See, it loaded the tape, and it's uh, currently on stop mode. And uh, right now it's playing the tape. And stop, fast forward. So, uh, the pinch rotor is disengaged for a uh, full speed fast forward and you can see it fast forward with the tape loaded on the head and it uh, allows it to uh, display a real time counter so uh, some VCRs uh, fast forward and rewind with the tape unloaded but they are only loaded halfway just only uh, only on this this head here and uh, so it can display the the, type, the, uh, the time counter real time counter uh, without having the tape loaded on the drum, but uh, this one doesn't uh, doesn't work like that. See, this one only has a four digit counter. You will press counter memory. You will see it will stop at zero. See, it stopped at zero. And uh, so I find that kind of interesting that uh, Toshiba made different versions of this and especially that they made uh, 
uh, VCRs with the same mechanism, but uh, that w one version uh, keeps the tape loaded and uh, one does not. So I find that kind of interesting that they they, they have that difference for uh, having the same tape mechanism. If I press zero return, it's actually not exactly the same function because uh, it was on stop and I pressed the button and it, start, uh, it started fast forwarding to uh, reach the zero counter. So like the counter memory uh, function doesn't work uh, exactly the, the same way. Also uh, here this belt which I have replaced, uh, it isn't exactly the, the, the right belt, no? it's like a um, kind of a too small diameter, but it's the only belt that fitted there that I, I found in my collection of belts, because I, I recover belts from uh, the, the VCR that I, that I scrapped, and uh, so uh, I, I have a bunch of them, and this was the only one that I had that works, uh, that works fine with this one, and uh, at least it, 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 it works. Like the mechanism works with it, and there also uh, th this VCR mechanism. There exists another version. You probably know it. Uh, another version with a, a capstan motor that drives a belt. So uh, instead of having of having a direct drive capstan motor located uh, directly below the the, the the capstan shaft, and uh, so uh, that I used to have a VCR with uh, that mechanism. I don't have it anymore. And uh, so that was an older version. It had the motor placed vertically, like a in the, this area here, and uh, so uh, these two VCRs, the the how it works is they have a separate uh, separate capstan motor and idler motor. So the capstan motor direct drive is uh, located just below there, and the idler motor just below uh, on the bottom side uh, here. So uh, look at my video uh, uh, review of this VCR here, and uh, so you will uh, see the bottom side of the of the mechanism. Now finally, here's the a comparison of the backside of the two VCRs. So here's the DX3C, the new one, and the other one, the M3285C. And uh, so uh, you have the same exact plugs, but they are not at the same place as you can see. And uh, this one has a, a power outlet on the back, unswitched power outlet, and uh, this one does not have it. So it has it, this one just like my my two Toshiba Beta VCRs, so uh, the VM41 and the VM42, which also has the have the letter C uh, at the end of the model number, just like these two. So my Toshiba have that, and uh, I think all the Toshiba VCRs are sold in Canada. They all have the letter C, and this is uh, quite common for the Canadian market VCRs. So the Canada uh, that probably probably what the the letter C stands for. And uh, so uh, UHF to connect it to a vintage TV from the 70s and early 80s because some of them uh, they only had these plugs and uh, these two VCRs have them only they are at uh, different locations the AV also uh, are at different locations this VCR has V-Lock so a function to adjust like the, um, the stability of the picture when, uh, when it's paused and uh, here the the traditional uh, coaxial uh, coaxial input and output so uh, you have them and uh, they are uh, also at a slightly different uh, location so uh, the width of the two uh, of the two VCRs are about the same so you can see how they are wide uh, about the same uh, the same length uh, but uh, uh, on this side you can see that this one is a uh, uh, a little bit deeper And uh, these two VCRs, they both have a, a plastic wrap that is uh, sticked on the uh, on the metal cover. So uh, I think this was meant to be removed, but uh, it has not been removed. Probably because they were sold with this, and the the person who have uh, 
the, the people who had them uh, did not think of removing them. And I don't know if other VCR brands had them, but uh, these are two Toshibas with the same mechanism, like they're from the same era, and they both have a plastic that has not been removed. And uh, I only have one a VCR, I think, that has that. And it's the my Mitsubishi, which I bought in Europe, which is stored here. This one also has a plastic wrap. And uh, so uh, now that's pretty much uh, all I had, I had to... Uh, to talk about in this video uh, this is pretty much the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and i, I think it was kind of interesting to compare these two uh, the, these two vcrs because they are toshibas from uh, around the same era so from the late 80s and they have uh, they are slightly different so i think that this was uh, interesting and uh, so uh, i will see you later guys for another video bye